what is up youtube welcome back to my channel you guys it's been a minute i know it's been a minute um i am back in the states from my long long dragged out deployment <sighs> but thank god i am back so happy to be back so happy to be back to my regular life um <laughs> happy to be back in my own space to be able to take a regular shower uh use the bathroom regularly <laughs> but that's for another another time another video this video is about a new product that i bought um i saw on instagram i saw um kirk's wife rashida rashida off of uh love and hip-hop atlanta i saw on her instagram these um hair color paste i guess you can call it it's like a a hair paste with different colors so you can color your hair without technically coloring your hair and you just wash it out so i decided to buy some and also if you haven't already done so please go ahead and click the uh subscribe button down below thumbs up if you um like this video at the end of the video and you know comment if you have anything to comment about um uh, my locks uh this is a new journey i am five months in i started at the end of march so i started with two strand twists if you haven't watched any of my previous two lock videos started with two strand twists and i am five months in i have been doing the interlock method because i am active duty and i work out at least six times a week so I have to interlock my hair in, in order for it to stay locked because if I palm roll it with me working out almost every day, the sweat, the humidity down here where I'm at in the south, it's just going to unravel immediately. So that's why I interlock it. And it's also good for if you have hair texture like mine, if you have um, 3C, 4A curly hair texture, interlocking has can help um, keep your locks locked and maintained. So... I think I'm pretty good for five months in. My locks are pretty much locks. Like, and it's, it's crazy. I didn't think they were gonna lock this fast, but they have locks. So I'm keeping my ends curly, going for that boho goddess look. Staying with it, you guys. But back to the video, cause I can ramble. <laughs> so the hair paste I got is from Creative Color. Um, it's a business out of Georgia I bought this on July 25th and it shipped out July 28th and I received this um, the 31st on Friday it got to my post office and I picked it up uh, what's today uh, yeah so it got here 31st July 31st to my post office post office and i picked it up on saturday on august 1st so it came pretty fast for you know the whole pandemic situation people in their companies are shipping out things very slowly slowly than usual so i'm surprised it got here this fast but i'm also not too surprised because georgia is just you know two states over so yeah um this is what these guys look like so i got what is this a neon green it says bold temporary hair color easy to apply and remove long lasting bold colors for your hair works on natural hair easy to wash off so they come with um the little plastic on there it's still tight so that's a good thing so i i guess i picked the wrong solo color i got a package of three the three colors i got that came in like a little bundle deal together was um let's see if these colors have some name on them somewhere i don't see a name on there <laughs> on the website they have names but they don't have names on the bot on the containers which is weird that's really weird so this electric blue color this like neon green color and then this like reddish color is supposed to give you a um a fall arb arbin <laughs> arbin <laughs> y'all i can't say this color okay a fall arborn <laughs> the south is coming out y'all know what i mean a fall fall color <laughs> fall color type hair color that you know reddish orange hair color 
that that's the that's the word i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about but yeah this this is supposed to give you that type of hair color um unfortunately i guess i ended up ordering two greens on accident so i got two greens and then i have this orange color the orange from the pictures on the website the orange is supposed to give you a um a blonde tint like uh supposed to give you as if you colored your hair like a honey blonde color that's what the orange is supposed to do now if you go on the website when you click on each color it has pictures and examples of like natural a lot of natural hair black women um brown women um hispanic women males too it has a lot of pictures with males what their hair texture look like what their hair look like after they use this color on there so i thought that was a pretty good advertising style to show actual people with the hair paste on their natural hair natural curls there's also some pictures on there of a guy with locks who used the paste on his locks so i wanted to come and use the paste on my locks because my locks are blonde and i figured that the paste would show up really well on my locks you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so we're gonna try out these colors because um <laughs> i don't know i want to see if this is the way to like color your hair fun colors without actually having to color your hair you know what i'm saying and just wash it out at the end of the day like, cause you know, me being military, I can't walk around with blue, blue hair at work. So if I could put some paste on one of these locks and want something eccentric or, you know, extra. Ooh, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Okay. The one con about the seal is it's hard, it's hard to peel off from the side, especially if you have nails. So when I poked it with my nail, yeah the underside of my nail is gonna be blue <laughs> i hope this is not staying my nails because i have off white nails i really hope this don't stain my nails because that'll be that'll be bad that'll be real shitty you guys anywho so we're gonna try out the blue first let's read the directions it says hair must be clean and about 80 percent dry rub appropriate amount of Creative color wax on palm and apply evenly and thoroughly on hair. Style as desired with your fingers or a comb. Easy to apply and wash out. <sighs> okay, we're gonna, we gonna try this out. Oh, I'm scared, y'all. I don't know which one I should, I should do it on one of these. I'm gonna do it on this one right here because this one has a long, natural, loose end with a good amount of locked root so we're gonna try this blue on there this is how it looks it feels like um you know what it really feels like y'all <laughs> it's gonna be weird but it feels like um icing like let me take my watch off it feels like like icing like um the buttercream icing that you use on like cupcakes that's what it feels like and it's so it's so blue oh my gosh i'm scared y'all <laughs> it's so blue oh my goodness uh now this is what i was scared of like since it was waxed, if it was gonna like straighten your curl, it kind of straightened out my curl because it is wax, I guess. But I'm trying to get as much as I can on the lock. I hope y'all can see. This better come out, y'all. <laughs> I don't like that it like straightened out my curl like this. So if you put this in your hair, like how do you get? How do you get your hair to go to go back to its curl pattern? I don't know. I guess you gotta leave it in there for a while and then wet it a little bit. Y'all, it's so mm -mm. <laughs> Do this with some uh gloves, cause baby, look look at my hands. Looking like an avatar. No. I don't like that it straightened my hair like that. 
Mm. Well, so I don't, I have a dry towel. I have a dry towel and um, it's coming off pretty well with just a dry towel, which is surprisingly good. So this is just from a dry towel. I'm gonna wet my towel and I'm gonna come back with it wet. All right, so I wet this towel and uh, with just some, some water, some warm water out the sink. And it comes off your hands pretty well, so that is a good sign. Um, it looks like it's not staining my nails, so that is very pleasing because I was afraid it was going to stain my nails. I also threw, spritzed some water on my hair just a little bit to make it like damped a little bit because it's at 80% dry. So I don't want to rule out the possibility of, you know, if your hair is wet, it might give you a different outcome because... I don't y'all tell me what y'all think I don't like the way it straightened out my curl like that I know it's wax but golly and I don't know I don't know if I really like like the blue but we gonna try this orange I don't I don't know how the orange is gonna look because my hair is already blonde well there there we go <laughs> how the orange looks you guys i'm not going all the way up to the root because i just got my hair i just got my hair twisted or interlocked like a week and a half ago so i don't want to have to wash out the whole lock wash the whole lock so I'm trying to get my curls come back after the pace okay so if you scrunch up your curl it kind of goes back to normal I'm glad I'm kind of happy my locks have my natural free hair at the end because I'm sure a lot of people will be like oh the pace don't look right because your hair is locked you know something of the nature but now you ain't got no excuse to say the pace don't look right because the ends of my hair are free natural curly hair so this is what it would look like on a natural a head full of natural hair. So you can see what it looks like on locks and you can see what it looks like on natural free curly hair. So that's what this orange. Y'all, y'all ever smell a, um, it has like a, a, a man smell like, like cologne, like, a, a you know, like that, that panty dropper cologne smell, like YSL, um, what else is a good one? Uh, the Versace, the Prada, the men's cologne. That's what it smells like. It, it smells good. Like I'm not hating on the smell. The smell is boy. <laughs> it smells good. So this is what the little orange is looking like. All right, let's see what's up next. We got the green, electric green. We're gonna see what this electric green is hitting for. So the boo has been in for a few minutes now. Let me see how easy it comes off. Like if it rubs off on your hands. It does rub off on your hand. Slightly, but it does rub off. I'm sure, I don't, my, this this lock was completely dry so i can't blame it on being wet it just rubs off so be aware that the color can probably stain and rub off on whatever yeah it, it definitely rubs off so be aware of that all right so this is what the green looks like we're gonna try the green oh, it smells so good y'all i'm surprised it smells that good and it feels good too. So let's try the green on this bad boy right here in the front. So this is what this little neon green is giving off on um, colored honey blonde hair. Let me 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, it looks a little froggish, a little green. <laughs> a little froggish, but you know. Some little accents in the hair. Oh, this one over here popping a little bit. Okay. This one's kind of popping. So, that's the green. We got one more color to try. Didn't want this video to be too long. Be short, sweet, to the point to give you my um opinions as I'm going to test out this last one. So, as of right now, I will say that I ain't too big of a fan. Um, <laughs> you can see they, uh, they Instagram is, their Instagram is actually on the bottle, on the label. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's their Instagram. If y'all want to go check it out. Um, the smell is a pro. The smell is definitely a pro. Gets thumbs up in my book because that smell was like, mm, mm, want me to go find a man or something, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, that smell good. Like when your boyfriend just got out the shower and he sprayed that cologne right when he put on that button up before you about to go on a date. That's what it smell like, for real. Huge pro. Next would be the texture. It, I'm so happy, like, it's a wax that's not a wax. Like, it didn't feel like wax. It didn't feel like paste. Like, it wasn't sticky. It's not sticky. Um, It's buttery, like. So that was a pro. The next pro I would say is that um, while I'm putting this red one on my hair, that's going to give me the fall. <laughs> Let me see if I can say it again. Um, Auburn. Auburn look. I guess that's how you say Auburn. Auburn. <laughs> Auburn color. So um, my next pro would be outside of the smell and the texture of the paste would be... Um, I don't know you guys that'll be sad if i only have two pros um i guess the fact that it actually does go like it pops on your hair i'm sure if you um if you have darker hair than i do i don't know how well it's gonna pop but however caveats to that however comma on their instagram there are pictures of people who have darker uh naturally curly hair and the colors popped a little bit so i guess that's a plus that it will show up on any natural hair color so and of course it's gonna show up in a different variations depending on your hair color so yeah but um the fact that it's working on my locks and my natural hair at the end is a plus so this is what the red is looking like. All right, so we are done with the colors that I have bought. Um, let me see. It does make it hard. It's not, it's super duper hard, but it is a little stiff. It's a little stiff. But it's not super duper hard. So I wouldn't say that's a pro or a con. It's kind of neutral because you kind of expect it. It's, a, it's a, something not no, natural going on top of your natural hair. So it's like any other gel or product that you put in your hair is going to make your hair a little stiff or whatever it's not crunchy stiff though so that's a good thing um the the last pro i would say is um it coming off of your hands it's not staining my hands so i feel like the blue might stain a tad 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 bit you'd have to be like looking down at your hands to really see the blue but it it has a little a little pigment left on my hands I think it's like the glitter or whatever pigmentation is left in my creases of my hands. But other than that, it didn't it didn't stay on my hands. Just a wet a towel and wipe your hands. Ooh, y'all, my eyeliner is looking trashy. 
okay <laughs> so just wipe your hands and it should come off so that's another pro um cons mm. these bad boys cons I don't like how it straightened out my curl. Like, I don't like how it did that. I don't like how it straightened out my curl. Um, another con would be the colors. Like, look at this. I still got blue on the back of my hand. The color, I don't really care for the colors. I, I just don't, I don't know. I can't even say I care to use this even if I didn't have locks because I mean I don't really know if I like the colors like that like maybe these two I was hoping I was gonna like the green and blue I, I, I like the auburn the auburn one will probably be my favorite out of all four that I have this is gonna be my favorite like look at this color I like this color y'all this color is my favorite. I will probably use the Arbor one. I actually might use this one. If it wasn't like so stiffening on, on the natural loose hair, I would use that color. The orange color, I don't think I would ever use the orange color. The green and blue, like I wish they would just not have been so like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know if I really care for the green and blue. That's not really a con. That's a personal opinion. So I can't blame that on the products. I just don't like the way it look. And this is showing up on blonde hair. So this is this natural true color on like honey blonde hair. So I just, I personally just don't like the way the green and blue looks. The blue is definitely my least favorite. The green second to that, then the orange and the red will probably be my favorite one out of the ones I bought. They, I, they also have, um, they have a hot pink on the website and they have a uh purple they have electric purple too so try those out um another con is that it trans it transfers over like if you rub this against something if somebody touches it they are gonna have some some staining on their hands they're gonna get some pain on their hands from it so that's the con that the, it transfers it doesn't harden like you would have to let it sit there and like dry or put, I don't know if you can even dry with heat if that's just going to melt it or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's the, probably the biggest con is that if you touch it, it's going, you're going to get some back transfer and residue on your hands from it. So that's the biggest con that I have from it. The pricing, what did I do with that paper y'all? Oh, the pricing they're um $10.99 a piece if you get them single containers. Uh, if you get the three pack, and actually this is supposed to be their passion pink. It's not pink, but this is their pink. To me, it's the Auburn red color, but this is their passion pink. Um, this is their boisterous blue, it's more like electric blue to me. And then their Go Get Them Green. This is like an electric green. And then you got your orange. So uh, you can get the three pack for $27.99 and the single containers for $10.99. Um, once again, the company's called Creative Color or Create If Color, however they want to say it. Um, that's what it's called. Uh, let me know what y'all what you guys think down in the comment section below let me know if y'all buy these and try these on your own hair i want to know what they look like on um completely loose natural hair somebody who tests it out on the youtube channel let me know please hit me up let me know so i can watch the video um once again comment like subscribe please subscribe if you haven't um please stay tuned for my next videos i have several videos coming you guys i got different videos wig videos that i've purchased like i have a whole lot of videos that's gonna be uploaded soon so just stay tuned and um i'll see y'all on the flip side peace